Hey everybody, it's Patrick. Welcome to practice. In our little warm-up class today, let's start in a seat. Just go ahead and close your eyes, take a moment. Any seat's good, just allow yourself to be here. Find a nice, calm, easy inhale and exhale. And just take a moment for yourself. We won't be here for too long, but you want to take the opportunity to create separation bef between where you were before and where you are now. Notice the natural rhythm of your inhales and your exhales. And then when you feel ready, go ahead and blink the eyes open and come on to hands and knees. As you come on to hands and knees, as usual, you want to circle the shoulders over the wrists a few times here. So just moving around, beginning to wake up the hands, elbows, forearms, upper back, space in between the shoulder blades mid-back, lower back. So again, just a few circles around. Anything that feels good to you. Don't think it needs to be anything in particular. You just want to try and feel these movements out a little bit. Kind of notice what you need today more than anything else. And then go ahead and come to center. Push the hands down, so you're really filling the space in between the shoulder blades. And then instead of circling forwards and backwards, we are just going to try and keep the shoulder blades lifted and then circle the chest down to the inside of the left arm, towards the floor, to the inside of the right arm, and then to the inside of the right shoulder blade, to the middle, and creating that circle again. So we're creating these big circles, moving the chest. You'll notice you're moving your upper back a little bit more, moving your mid-back a little bit more, just trying to create this flow of energy in the body. And as you get more used to taking this practice. You don't have to just circle to the right for a few rounds and then to the left for a few rounds, and we can switch directions here. You can do whatever feels good, right? You just want to check in, kind of notice the circling action. Of course, when you switch directions, you'll drop to the inside of the right arm first, then lower the chest, lean to the inside of the left arm, and lift back up. Right? All these little circles just kind of help you generally wake up the body. Take a few more moments here. and then return to center. Push the tops of the feet down, lift the knees up just an inch, push down through the tops of the feet, engage the core, drive through the thumbs. Float the right foot off the ground. Set the right foot down. Float the left foot off the ground. Set the left foot down. Push the left foot down, bring the right knee up towards the right collarbone to the best of your current capacity. Step the right foot back. Push the top of the right foot down. Lift the left foot up. Bring the left knee up to your left collarbone as much as possible. Set the left foot down. Drop the knees to the floor. Tuck the toes. Sit back on the heels. Stretch the bottoms of the feet. Roll the shoulder blades onto the back. Bind your hands, right or left, them on top. Feel the chest elevate in space. Try and get just a little bit longer through the arms as you chase the ground behind you with your knuckles. Stay easy with your breath here. Try and stay lifted in the chest and long in your spine. One more inhale. And on your exhale, release. Bring your hands to the floor. Push down through the tops of the palms. Push down through the tops of the feet. Lift your knees off the ground slightly. Lift the right foot up. Bring your right knee up to your right collarbone just as you did before. Try and drive it up as much as possible. Then point the right toes back. Set the right foot down on the ground so it's helping you push the right knee in towards the collarbone and see if you can lift the left foot off the ground. Holding here for five, four, three, two. On one, flex the left foot. Let the toes land. Inhale, lift the right leg all the way up to the sky. Three-legged dog. Roll to the outer edge of the left foot. Gently touch the right toes to the floor behind the left knee. This could be a variation of side plank or just a lifting of the hips, something like a wild thing pose, also known as Kamakrasana in Sanskrit. Take one more inhale here. On your exhale, your right hand comes to the floor. Right leg lifts all the way up to the sky. Take an inhale there. On your exhale, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. As it lands, inhale, twist, and reach your right arm all the way up to the sky. Stay as long as possible in the spine. On your exhale, right hand to the floor. Push your hips up and back in space, straightening your right leg. Allow your body to melt to the middle. 
Let your skull get heavy. Bend your right knee. Roll to the outer edge of the right foot. Twist and reach your right arm all the way up. Get as long as possible there. Flex the left foot just a little bit more actively. See if you can lengthen your spine. See if you can take your breath into your left rib cage. On your exhale, right hand to the floor. Push your hips up and back in space. Again, straightening the right leg to your current capacity. It may be very straight. It may not be close to straight at all. The only thing that matters is your intention. The intention of pushing your right hip back. The activity of keeping your leg strong, connected. Part of the process is you explore your flexibility. Bend the right knee. Slowly lower your left knee to the floor. Bring your right hand on top of your right knee. Push the right knee forward as you lift the chest up. Lift your lower belly. Feel your core engaging here. And then bend your left knee. Reach back for your left foot with your left hand. If it's available to you, catch the foot on the inside. Once you're here, pull the left heel towards your butt and then sit the right knee as far forward as possible. As you do that, try and not let your chest lean forward. Instead, keep your lower belly lifted and allow your body to just push, or the front left hip to just push out in front of you. Excuse me. So even as you're pulling the left heel towards the butt, you want to drive the left hip forward as well. You want to keep allowing the right knee to reach over the right big toe. Holding your space here for four, for three, for two. On one, release. Let the left foot go. Place your hands down on the floor. Step back to plank pose. Take an inhale in your plank. On the exhale, lower to the floor in ten, nine. Take your time. This gets challenging. Eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. As the body lands, let your fingertips frame your chest. Drive the tops of the feet down. And then push the fingertips down. Inhale to lift the spine, lift the chest, lift the skull away from the floor. Exhale, lower. We call this oscillating cobra. Two more times. Inhale, rise. Right. And exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. And exhale, lower. Feel that length in your spine. Now we'll lift up into locust pose. So squeeze the shoulder blades onto the back. Reach the hands towards your feet and stretch your toes away from your fingers. Notice which hip is pressing down into the floor more and get a little bit heavier in the other hip. Most likely, you're slightly asymmetrical, so it's always good to try and create balance through the practice. Keep lifting the shoulders up. Keep stretching back through your fingers. Take one more inhale here. On your exhale, release. Let your hands and knees land on the floor and push back to child's pose. Let the hips get heavy. Stretch through the inner arm. Let your forehead soften towards the floor. Reconnect with your breath. If you lost it during any point of our little sequence, just come back to it here. You always have the opportunity to come back. You always have the opportunity to re-tap into the natural rhythm of your breath. Go ahead and come forward onto hands and knees. And we'll move into side two. Push the tops of the feet down. Lift your knees slightly off the floor. Feel the space in between the shoulder blades. Float the left foot up, and then drive the left knee towards your left collarbone. Feel the lift in between your shoulders. Try and keep your right knee as low to the ground as possible. We'll want to lift up on you. Set the top of the left foot down. Keep the left knee exactly where it is, and then lift the right foot up. Lift it as high as you can. Push through the thumbs. Feel the space in between the shoulder blades. Hold here for five, four, Three, two, on one, flex the right foot, set the toes down. Left leg lifts all the way up and back. Three-legged dog. Roll to the outer edge of the right foot, bend the left knee. Gently set the left toes down behind the right knee. You can keep the right leg straight if you want, or you can push through both heels, driving your hips up. Create a nice, long, lifted line of energy, opening through the right side body. 
Wrap the right shoulder underneath you. Hold here for just three, two, on one, three-legged dog. The left hand finds the floor. The left toes chase the ceiling. On your exhale, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. As it lands, twist and reach your left arm up. Try and stay as long in the spine as possible. Take a nice big breath into your chest here. Let it fill your lungs. On your exhale, left hand to the floor. Push your hips back in space, straightening the left leg. Let your body fold and melt to the middle. Allow your heart to get a little bit heavier towards the floor. Feel the sinking nature of your physical position. And feel supported by your points of contact with the floor, with your foundation your hands and your feet here. Bend the left knee, push the right hand down, twist all toes to point left, reach your left arm up and overhead, allow the right hip to lift up, deep stretch into your left hip crease. On your exhale, left hand to the floor, straighten your legs, pushing the hips back in space again, modified pyramid pose one more time, getting a little bit longer into your hamstring. Feel your left heel pulling back underneath you. Feel the chest melting towards the floor. Find a steadiness in your current position. Bend your left knee. Lower your left big toe to the floor. If it lifted, lower your right knee down. Bring your left hand on top of your left leg. Push yourself up to your best possible physical posture. Nice and lifted through the lower belly. Nice and long through the scarf. Bend your right knee. Reach back for the right foot with the right hand. If it's available to you, catch the inner arch of the right foot. As you're there, trying to eliminate the back bend, and then push your left knee forward, push your right hip forward, keeping your core elevated. In fact, try here to only breathe into the area just below your collarbones. Feel that lift and that length. Pulling the right heel in. Feel the deep opening in your right hip flexor. The activation of your right glute supporting the position. Hold yourself here for just four. For three. For two. On one, release. Let the toes land. Place your palms flat on the floor. Step back to your plank pose. Take an inhale in your plank. We're going to do two push-ups lowering slowly to the floor. The count will be seven. So you're lowering down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rise. Inhale up top and lower for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And exhale, rise. Nice. This time we'll only lower for a count of seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Let your body rest on the floor for a moment. Frame your chest with your fingertips. Prepare for the oscillating cobra pose. Push the tops of the feet down. Inhale, lift the chest up and away. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale, lift. Feel both hips heavy. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. This time, hold at the top. Push your feet down. Breathe into your chest. Feel more length in the spine. And exhale, release. Last active pose of our practice here. One more round of locust pose if you want it, or bow pose. So either way, lift the chest. Maybe you bend the knees, catch the ankles, or you keep reaching the feet back. If you have the ankles, kick, push the shins away from you, open the chest. Try and find a drive through the big toes. Try and find a drive through the shins wherever you are. Give your full effort for just five, four, three, 
two. And on one, let it go. Drop a knee to the floor. Let your body rest. Feel your heart pulsing against the ground. Reminding you that you're here. Reminding you of the effort that you're giving. Reminding you that you are in the present moment. When you feel ready, push yourself back to child's pose. Let the knees be wide. Push the hips back in space. Let the chest soften down. Close the eyes. And just take a moment for you here. This is where we're closing off our practice today. If you feel like practicing more, your body's very warmed up to continue your journey. If this is all the time you had today, I hope your body feels better. I hope you feel a little bit more connected to where you are in this moment and in this time. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.